Hi there team, this is Christine Weir, Diamond Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. Today I'm going to make a video that was requested that is my list of top 12 things that helped me reach the rank of Diamond Ambassador. And today I'm going to share very transparently with you. I'm going to be extremely forthcoming in what I'm saying and I'm going to be bold in my statement. So I just want to go ahead and give you that heads up before we get started. I do have a list so I don't leave anything important out and I look forward to spending a little bit of time with you today in hopes of encouraging you and providing you some tangible ways to build a business that will change your financial future and help thousands and thousands of people. People that you don't know but most importantly the people that you love and care about that are right before you. So let's take this journey together. Sit back, relax, drink your water, and hopefully become inspired today. So first and foremost, number one thing that helped me reach the rank of Diamond Ambassador is my number one top reason that I'm successful in life, and that is belief. I believe really, really strongly that you have to have belief in yourself first. You have to have belief in the company, which is Plexus and you have to have belief in our products. If you have belief in those three things, you will become a successful ambassador and you will reach your dreams. And I mean that not nonchalant at all, but with great passion. Because the first and foremost thing you have to do is look in that mirror and say, I believe that you can do this, and that you're going to do this. And if you have belief in the company and the products, then the belief in yourself that you already have puts together a trifecta of success for you. So first and foremost, belief. Second of all, passion. I believe that passion is the foundation of belief. You have to have passion about whatever it is that you're believing in. I mean in life. I'm not even necessarily talking about plexus with that statement. But if you're passionate about something, you have to talk about it. Your body, your heart, your soul tells you that you have to share whatever it is you're passionate about with those that you love and care about with the world. So for me personally, when I had great health results, great weight results with Plexus, it was not something I consciously did. I just started sharing. Never started selling. Still don't feel like I've sold today any product that we have because simply I share about our amazing products and so many things that can help other people in their lives with their health with their weight and then also if you're sharing the opportunity with passion you're sharing with them a way for their financial situation to be forever changed for them to have security and freedom beyond their beyond, beyond their wildest dreams so you have to be passionate um, you have to believe but then if you if you don't have the passion to go with the belief then you don't have a winning combination. So you've got to have that passion. So number two is passion. Share passionately. Be passionate in your own way with your own personality, but be passionate about what you believe in and then share that passion and inspire other people with your passion. Number three, consistency. That's a big one, guys. You will not be successful without consistency. So even if you have belief and passion, but you don't consistently share about Plexus, then you're missing a huge, huge part of the way I got where I am and the way that so many other successful ambassadors got where they are. I don't know an ambassador, honestly, that's had success in this business that hasn't been consistent. So let me talk to you a little bit about what I mean by consistency. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm, I'm really talking about more than just posting on Facebook. I am talking about that. I think that that's a really important thing. When you are inconsistent on Facebook, your audience, the people that see you every day on Facebook, they don't know that you're passionate because people that are passionate have to share, kind of like what I was talking about. You have to share. So, you know, it's important that you do post every single day on Facebook. But more importantly, or just as important, is the amount of time that you carve out daily to work your business. So if you're posting consistently on Facebook, you might think, well, you're doing your business. But there's more to this business than just posting on Facebook. You've got to be reaching out to people. You've got to be following up with people. And you've got to be doing some of your own personal growth, which we'll get to in just a minute. 
but you have to be doing that consistently. We don't work this business every once in a while. You need to consistently work it every day. So for some of you, that might be 15 minutes a day. If that's what you've chosen to do with your business. For other people, that's two or three hours a day. And for somebody who's doing this business full time, it's more time than that. So it depends on what your goals are and your timeline. That's something I want to be really clear about today is that if you have a timeline, you have goals, the timeline attached to it, it's awesome. But understand that those people that you see ranking up and promoting and, and really seeking out other people and, and, and having a lot of people join them on this journey, they're working this business very consistently. They're not working it at their leisure. They have a plan. Okay, so get a plan, get a goal, have a timeline, but understand that that timeline is completely affected by the amount of time that you give to your business. So for me personally, I gave a lot of time to my business from the very beginning. And when I caught this vision, which is pretty early on, because I realized the products worked and were changing lives, I, I caught that vision. And so I started carving out time and I started looking at my schedule and thinking, you know what, that two hours that I'm watching TV, what's that doing for my life? How is that affecting my life? Carve that two hours out, I don't watch TV. I spend that on my Plexus business. And so when people say, well, how did you work a full-time job while you were trying to build your business? It's truly because I planned out time and I was very consistent in what I did. I spent a lot of weekends working Plexus when I was teaching because I couldn't work it during the school day. So evenings, weekends, carve that time out because honestly, a, a year or a few years of sacrifice for a lifetime of freedom is a no-brainer. So be consistent work your business consistently, do post on Facebook consistently, but also follow up with your customers, with your ambassadors. Work on trainings. If you aren't comfortable in front of the camera and you don't want to do a training, that's okay. There's lots of training available on YouTube. Go find some people to inspire you on YouTube. Read some books and we'll get to personal development in a minute. Uh, number four, mindset. You know, what is a mindset? For me personally, a mindset is drawing your line in the sand, it is put your blinders on and stop looking to the right, stop looking to the left, and keep looking straight ahead, no matter what happens. You know, my best friend told me that I was stupid for signing up. She thought it was ridiculous that I was going to sign up to be a Plexus Ambassador. And mind you, in the beginning, I signed up literally for the discount. Never, ever, ever going to share about these products. Didn't want to do a business. Passion happened. Belief happened. But I didn't sign up for that purpose. And so mindset for me was pretty early on. I had to not listen to her tell me that I was stupid for signing up. My husband thought I was pretty crazy too. I was a kindergarten teacher for 19 years. I'm not a pushy person. I'm not a salesperson. I've never sold anything in my life. I've never done any type of network marketing. I don't even know how to do network marketing, or I didn't uh, about 25 months ago. So, you know, it's funny to look back on that time when I signed up in March of 2014 that the two closest people to me told me I was stupid and crazy. It did not impede my process. I did not look at the naysayers or the skeptics as people to deter me from the journey. In fact, I used that to fuel my fire, my passion, and my belief. And I became even more consistent, more determined. My mindset became rock solid. In other words, I don't care what anyone else says. I see what's in front of me and I believe in my heart that God placed me on this journey. This opportunity is so rare, it's so amazing that when I started having immediate, immediate success and I started seeing lives change, that I knew that I had something that God could use to help His people. It's my responsibility to be on that journey. You know, God never tells us it's going to be easy. He just tells us that it's going to be worth it. I was having this conversation with my best friend Kelly yesterday, and I said, you know what? Do you think that the apostles really had an easy life? Do you think that they didn't have family and friends that were skeptics and naysayers on that journey? Of course they did. Do you know what? They knew what they believed. They had passion. They were consistent in sharing, and I guarantee you, they had a rock-solid mindset. Get one.
quit worrying about everybody else. The opinions of others will never help you pay your bills, guys. So you have to stop worrying about what other people think, what they say, and what they do. <laughs> I love the quote that, you know, someone else's opinion of me is none of my business. It isn't. I have had so many skeptics in my life since I started this business. I've been defriended on Facebook. I've been blocked. I've been, my back, their backs have been turned on me. People that I've known for years and thought were my true friends have literally walked out of my life on this journey. Do you know what? A true friend is not going to leave you on a journey. They're going to investigate the journey. They're going to see your passion and your belief, and they're going to know that you're following your heart. They're going to support you and encourage you on that journey. So for me personally, it was kind of like, it wasn't a red flag at all. It was an eye-opening moment when I realized, you know what? These people have never really cared about me or my success, and it's okay that they don't want to support me on this journey because I'm going to do it no matter who is with me. And what's funny is some of the people that did turn me off on Facebook, they didn't unfriend me, but they kind of just turned me off, have since come back and become some of my most successful Plexus ambassadors on my team. So consistency is a huge thing, but mindset is just as big. Number five, find a running buddy. I don't mean in, in exercise. I mean in this business. Find someone that can do this business with you. It has the same drive, the same vision, the same goals that you do. That they want to go all the way and they want to do it with you. Find someone that you trust, that you can take criticism from, that you can give criticism to. Obviously in a constructive way, in a positive way. But someone who will encourage and support you no matter what on this journey. My running buddy is my best friend Kelly who originally told me I was stupid. But she is well, a long time ago, came to her senses and joined me on this journey and really has just as much passion and belief as I do. Her mindset is just like mine and her consistency is impeccable. It's just like my consistency. And, you know, we team taught together for over seven years and we kind of knew how to give that kind of criticism. We just have that mutual respect with each other. We can say anything and it'll be taken with with a, heart, with a heart instead of feeling like someone is picking on you. So find someone that you love and care about, that loves and cares about you, that you can do this with. And I wanna encourage you to make that someone a, a friend of yours or a sideline. It doesn't have to be somebody on your team. I really don't encourage you to have someone in your downline as your running buddy. I really encourage you to have a sideline as your running buddy. So maybe somebody that's on your bigger Plexus team but isn't in your downline or your upline that that can really encourage and support you on a journey that is going to be a lifetime journey so you want somebody with you on this journey that encourages you that loves you and that will inspire you along the way number six but i'm going to tell you it's not at the bottom of my list at all it's not even really in the middle of my list it's really far up in the top of my list and you know this is my these are my top 12 things for how I became a diamond ambassador. So I know not everybody feels this way and that's okay, but I have to tell you because this is a huge piece of my journey that faith and prayer are the reason I'm here today. They're the reason that I have sustained my passion, my belief, my drive for this business, the reason that I continue to pray every day for my team, for the people that need Plexus to come and join me on this journey so that I can help and love and support them. It's never been about money for me. It's been about helping and loving other people. And I'll be honest, the time freedom that I have now is amazing. It's completely worth all the work that I've done. But watching lives being changed every day is where it's at for me. So my faith has been huge. You know, faith is the evidence of things unseen. It's the things that you know are true. So here's my goal. My goal in life is for... God to say, there's that squeaky wheel again. I talk to him every day, multiple times a day, and he knows me, just like he knows all of his believers. And I know that he's heard me on this journey every single time I've talked to him about it. And he's heard my prayers because people have joined me on this journey. They've come to be a part of the journey. And I just don't think I could, I can do life without prayer and faith. So it's no different with Plexus, but it's been a huge part of my Plexus journey. 
you're going to have hills and valleys. When you do, God is right there. He's there cheering you on, whether you're succeeding at the moment or whether you're struggling at the moment, because you're going to have both of those things happen to you on this journey. So for me personally, prayer, daily prayer, faith, huge part. And you know, my running buddy is part of that, that faith and prayer part. I, I can't not tell you that. Kelly and I pray together once a week for our team at least. And we literally carved that time out. It's made a huge difference in both of our businesses and the businesses on our team. I really, really believe that strongly. I don't think we would be where we are today. And I don't think our teams would be where they are today if we didn't invest that amazing time and ask God to bless this business. So don't be afraid to ask him. He wants to bless you. Number seven is sacrifice. It is something that a lot of people are unwilling to do. So when we look at the Jewel Ambassadors, Plexus, you realize that's less than half of 1% of our company are Jewel Ambassadors. And you ask yourself, you know, why are those people Jewels? And all these other people aren't, they haven't made it yet, or they are working toward it, but they haven't achieved that rank yet. Why is that? I'm going to tell you that sacrifice, I believe, at least for me, is a huge part. You know, there's a few lucky Jewels that signed a rock star or two up and made it, but that's not the norm. The norm is true sacrifice and hard work. So what am I talking about you sacrificing? Time? Something you want to do? It might be as simple as a TV show, but it might be something as hard as missing a dinner with your family. It might be not going on a family vacation so you can go to convention or another event. Those are hard sacrifices. You have to decide if it's worth it for you, but I'm going to tell you. Sacrificed a family vacation last summer when I was a brand new Emerald to go to convention because I can do both things. There's just no way to work it out. So I made that sacrifice. And then in December, I surprised my family with a Christmas cruise. That would never have been possible without the freedom, the financial freedom that I have with Plexus. And then this summer, I'm going to convention, but I'm also taking my family to the beach. So that one sacrifice that I made was so worth it because look at what I'm able to do now for my family that I couldn't do before. It's because I made the sacrifice. And honestly, guys, it didn't seem much like a sacrifice at the time because convention is incredible. I hope you're going to be there in Vegas this year. It's going to be so awesome. You will be so motivated. Like, you're going to be motivated beyond anything. It's like a revival to me. That's how I feel. I'm so completely inspired when I leave there. I hope that you guys are planning to, to make that uh, journey to Vegas this year. But anyway, sacrifice, huge part of my journey. You know, when I was trying to build my business in the beginning, when I was working full time, there were weekends when I was in front of the computer or I was on my phone or I was on my iPad. I was messaging people. I was following up with people. I was working my business and my family missed me. But we also knew what was coming and we knew that those sacrifices would pay off because where I'm at today as a stay-at-home mom something that I didn't even know to dream. I didn't even know that I could ever be a stay-at-home mom. Didn't ever see that in my future. So to be able to do that now because of the sacrifices that I made for really, in, in reality, a very short period of time, about 13 months is what it took me to go emerald. And when I was working that one year is all that I worked while I did Plexus. So, you know, it's amazing to think back to that time. And I would tell you 100% was every sacrifice I made was worth it. There were times when I had to spend money on travel to go and help my team. And the sacrifices were a joy for me. And I just want to encourage you that if it's worth it to you, you will find a way and you will make the sacrifices that are needed. You will give up things at times so that you can have more time later. To me, that's what I've done. So this, the small sacrifices that I made on weekends last year, now I have all my time for my family. So pretty awesome to, to have realized that. I kind of saw that when I was doing it. So I'm telling you, it's completely worth it. Number eight is self-talk. I'm going to be really transparent with you. It's not something that I've had to do a lot of, but I've encountered a lot of people that need to do some better self-talk. So I had to make that one of my top 12 things. Self-talk is so important. If you are not breathing belief into yourself, you are not giving yourself positive affirmations, you're missing out on a key component in life. You have to talk good to yourself. You gotta be good to yourself. You gotta take care of yourself. You know, you gotta take care of your health, but you gotta take care of you, your soul. 
You do that by talking in a positive way to yourself. Stop comparing your journey to other people. Stop doing that. It is sabotaging you. The, the thief of joy is your comparison of others. So don't compare don't compare your journey. Your journey is gonna be different than my journey, than anyone else's journey. You know, you can look at my running Betty Kelly, you can look at my very best friend in the whole world, and she's almost emerald. She's that close to emerald, she's almost there. It's taken her a year longer to go emerald than it took me. And if she compared her journey the whole time and sat back and said, but Christine did this, and I'm not doing this, what would have happened? First of all, it's a joy stealer, so her joy would have been stolen. And instead of comparing her journey, she realized and accepted that her journey is her own. And I just feel like you can't look at two people and say, but she did this and she's doing this and I'm, I'm not there yet. Instead, you've got to, to say, this is what you've got to do. You've got to say, look at what she did. If she can do it. A teacher, a kindergarten teacher for 19 years that lives in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, who's a mom, who's a wife, who isn't a salesperson, who isn't pushy, who's by definition an introvert, although I can fake extrovertedness pretty well. And um, if that person can be successful, then I can do it. That's the kind of self-talk that you need to be doing. I wanna challenge you today. I've heard this word and I, I keep hearing it. I hear it sometimes from my team, so I'm talking to you team. I hear the word discouraged a lot. Stop using that word. Stop using the word discouraged. It is a joy stealer. You are discouraged if you are allowing yourself to be discouraged. You know what, you, you cannot say those kind of negative words to yourself and then think, I'm gonna do this business. You can't do that. You've gotta have positive self-talk, positive affirmations. You've gotta say, I'm doing this. I will do it however long it takes. I will do whatever it takes. I'm not gonna quit because the only way to fail is to quit and I'm not gonna quit. I'm not a quitter. I am smart. I am passionate, I am inspired to go and help other people, and I'm gonna keep loving people no matter what they do. You know, those are the kind of positive affirmations you should be giving yourself. So, stop using the word discouraged. It is a joy stealer. You're only discouraged if you choose to be. So, number nine, this is a big one for me. It's been a huge part of my success, and that is commitment to attending events. And this is one I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but it's huge in my organization, and that is commitment to travel. So what does that mean? Well, events I think are something that I don't really have to talk about a lot, but I'm gonna just make that plug one more time. Events are everything. Leaders are born at events. You need to be at events. Super Saturday, convention, leaders retreat. Work to earn that. Work to earn that leaders retreat. It's amazing. I have no idea where it is this year, but I know wherever it is, it's going to be incredible. Go to local events. If there's not a local event, stop saying there isn't one. Create one. Do a, your own event. Go to online events. You need to invest in going to events. Hey, I know it's a time sacrifice, but we already covered that. So be at events, get to events. Leaders are born there. It's where you become encouraged. You are with a group of like-minded people who are passionate and have belief. What does that do? It feeds your passion and belief. Get to events. Commit to travel. Guys, if you have teams outside of your local area or outside of your state, it's not their fault. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's not their fault. They don't live near you. You need to get to them. Hey, I know I'm talking about time sacrifice and I'm talking about money sacrifice. It's how I built my business. I did it. I will continue to do it. I love to travel and be with my teams. I have watched some of my leaders do the exact same thing and what's happened to their team is the exact same that's happened to mine. It's blown up. People become inspired. They know you love them. The best way to inspire people is to be present. There's no substitution for in person. I love that we have what we're doing right now. I love that we have social media. I love that we have technology that can allow us to be in somebody's living room, even if we're halfway across the United States. But the truth of the matter is, there's no substitution for in person. Get to your team. They need to see you. You need to love on them and breathe belief into them. Number 10. Very simple, put others before yourself. Help people, that's what this business is about. You know, I believe in putting my focus on my team. I am so excited to be sitting before you as a Diamond Ambassador. I ranked up in March of 2016, exactly two years from 
my start of my journey with Plexus. But I'm telling you here right now, I'm not here because I'm amazing. I'm here because my team is amazing and all of these reasons that I've given you. But also because I've never made this about myself. It's not about me. It's about bringing as many people with me as want to come and who are willing to do the work that's needed to get there. So your rank will take care of itself. You need to worry about your team, you need to pour into them, believe in them, and quit worrying about yourself because your rank will take care of itself when you take care of your people. You need to enjoy the journey that you're on, but you also need to enjoy the journey with everyone else because it's lonely at the top. You don't want to be there by yourself. Number 11, personal development. This is a big one. Personal development is everything in this business. It's actually everything in life. So what is personal development? It is probably one of the hardest things that most people have to do, and this is why. It's analyzing your strengths and weaknesses, and then, this is key, focusing on your strengths. I said that. I didn't say anything about focusing on your weaknesses. Focus on your strengths. God has provided you talents. He has. He's equipped you for the task. And he's given you desires. So if you are sitting here, you're watching this, and you're thinking, I want to be a diamond ambassador. I want to be an emerald. I just want to be an emerald. I just want to be a ruby. I just want to be a gold ambassador. You have that desire in your heart. God's equipped you for the task. I'm telling you that right now. So you need to go find out what areas that you can focus on. Your strengths. And in, in the process of focusing on your strengths, your weaknesses are going to also be built up and become strengths. So... I want you to read some John Maxwell books. I want you to start with Failing Forward if you haven't read that book. I want you to read The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership if you need leadership. And here's the truth. I'm going to say it boldly. Every single person watching this video, or who's talking on this video, that would be me, needs help to be a leader. There are natural born leaders. I actually feel, believe that I am one. I believe that's one of my talents that God gave me is, is leadership. But I also believe this. You don't come out of that womb completely developed. Life experiences develop you, but also you have to realize those areas that you need to grow in. So that book is amazing. I really encourage you to do it and do it with your team. So get some John Maxwell books, start there. There's lots of amazing authors out there. Start there, read some books. Get on YouTube, watch some videos, and develop yourself as a leader, develop yourself as a person, and you will be amazed at what happens. I've, I have grown more personally in the last two years than I had in all the years before that combined. I thought I was a developed leader, and I did have a lot of leadership qualities before, but what I had never done before is lead a team of almost 3,800 people before. I'm used to teaching 25 kindergartners that are five and six years old. So totally different environment. And I have to tell you, so rewarding guys, so rewarding. So the last thing is no excuses. You have to make a way. Let me just speak to you really, really plainly right now. There are gonna be moments in this business when you want to give up. When you think this is just too hard. People are quitting. People aren't coming. Nobody is showing interest. But you know what? That's an excuse. God gave you a desire for a reason. The only way to fail is to quit. And you need to make a decision that you will do whatever you have to do to be successful. There are people that work 40 years in a, in a company, in a career, and they're barely scraping by. And then they retire. And they're still barely scraping by. They worked for someone else their whole life. And whoever was at the top of that dream, whatever company it was, is the one that has reaped the reward of someone else's work. And probably some of their own too. But if you're working for someone else and you're helping someone else's dream come true, I, I beg you to consider that there's a better way. And your dream is just as important as anybody else's. Yes, you will have to get outside your comfort zone. You may have to do some things that make you uncomfortable, like talking to someone in public about Plexus or reaching out to somebody that you know needs the products that we have or needs the opportunity. He's laying awake at night and wondering how they're gonna pay their water bill. 
you need to have the courage to reach out to those people. So you've got to stop having excuses and worrying about offending people. You know, if Jesus had worried about offending people, where would we all be today? We wouldn't be here, would we? So I encourage you to do what Jesus would do. Look inside yourself, have passion, have belief, and go after your dreams because you're totally worth it. What are you willing to do to have financial and health freedom? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to change your life and change the lives of the people that you love and care about? Are you willing to get outside your comfort zone and really push through it? Are you willing to make some sacrifices? Are you in a place where you really want this? Do your dreams and your goals wake you up in the morning? Is that the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning is why you're doing this business? Is it the last thing that you're praying for before you go to bed every single day? Are you worth it? Is your family worth it? I think you know the answers. And I think that when we take hold of our beliefs and our passion, and we, we take all these other things that I've talked about today, and we make the decision, we draw the line in the sand and we say, no matter what, I'm gonna do it. No matter how long it takes, no matter how much work it takes, no matter who quits, no matter who is a skeptic, no matter who comes against me, I'm not gonna fail because I'm going to succeed in this business. That is when you will be a successful ambassador. So I encourage you today that this opportunity is for every single person watching and it takes no special skill, it takes no special talent, what it takes is belief, passion, and all the other things I talked about. And today, I wanna to empower you that you can do this. So I look forward to meeting so many of you in Vegas and I just want you to know that everything I've told you today is from my heart. I'm as transparent as I can be with you. That God placed me on a path and I took the path and I'm still taking it. It still has curves. It's windy. Hills and valleys all the way. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. And I just appreciate your time today and I hope that you're encouraged and inspired. And I pray blessings on your business.